Hey guys, this is Chris from Super Brick Reviews, bringing you guys a new LEGO Star Wars 2012 set review on Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. The set has 300 pieces and costs $40 US and I believe $50 or $49.99, whatever, Canadian. So, um, it's a pretty cool set. It's not the greatest. As you see, you only get five figures. And, um, five figures, well, the figures are decent, but, you know, you get R2 and it's like, pfft, shouldn't count anymore. But then the set's pretty small. So anyways, um, this is a very cool set. I believe it's a Target exclusive. And, um, yeah. So anyways, we get Anakin, who has the same leg printing as in Palpatine's Arrest. And maybe the same torso printing, but I don't think so. I'll just zoom in. Makes life easier. Anyways, so that's Anakin. And he has that face, and then he has his dark brown hair, and then he has his total, like, psychoticness face. He's like, I hurt you. So he says to Obi-Wan, not you guys. Then we get R2. You guys all know R2 because he comes in psh, how many sets? I bought When I bought all these sets, I got like six R2-D2s. That's so like rage face. Anyways, you got a security battle droid, and then you get new gunnery in his episode 3 outfit. So you get his um, same hat as in the Clone Wars, separate a shuttle version from whatever, two, 209. Uh, but then you get a, him in his awesome um, Neomoidian robes. And you get a new face that's a lot more accurate than the Clone Wars one. And last but not least, we get Obi-Wan Kenobi. And this has got to be my favorite figure because we finally get a good new Episode 3 version of him. So, he, the figures might just make it worth it if, um, like, just Anakin and Obi-Wan, you know, right there. Um, other than that, we get two of these. Uh, one's a, a lava droid, magma droid thing. Um, it's where Anakin and Obi-Wan fight on these two things. Anakin takes the small thing because he's like, Oh, I'm way better than you, so I'm going to stand on the small droid. And Obi-Wan's like, he's like, don't jump. And Anakin's like, I heard you. And he jumps and he dies in the lava and becomes Darth Vader. Whatever. Um, spoiler. Huge spoiler. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen it. Okay. Whatever. Um, and then there's this other lava platform thing that Obi-Wan stands on. Uh, okay, so now on to the Interceptor. Um, so those, those things will be cool if you're doing a Mustafar mock. Um, yeah, so next onto the Interceptor, there's a place for R2, which is nice because normally there isn't. Um, there's a place for Anakin, of course, because it's his Interceptor. And is there a place for his lightsaber? Oh, I totally thought there was a place for his lightsaber. Watch me miss. There's probably like a really obvious place where his lightsaber goes. Apparently not. Well, I'm just really dumb. Okay. So there's the Interceptor. I'm not even focused on it for the win. Anyways, so we got Anakin in there flying it. We got R2 sits in there like a troll. It has blasters on the front, blasters, small blasters on the side. Then you got the wings, all stickers. Now this is this is what drives me nuts because my sticker sheet was bent, like nobody's business. So the sticker doesn't even stay on there flat, and I just press it down. So of course it will a bit more. But anyways, so once you open up the Interceptor's um, wings, it looks like that. You got two flick fire missiles there. And yeah, so that's the set. You just get more stickers on the top. And my stickers, like, look at that. Why, like, why can't you give all sticker things and in, all instruction booklets cardboard backing? Because some of these stickers that I'm getting, especially for my Ninjago sets, have just been, like, ruined. And it's making them putting on the sets really awkward. And then they easily peel off the set, so it makes me really mad. But anyways, the cockpit piece is printed, so that's good. So anyways, that's my review of the set. Um, overall, it's a really cool set, worth 40 US. <sighs> I'm gonna say only if you want it, like, a lot. Um, maybe, this is like a decent set. It's a decent price, I guess. You could, it's, it's totally up to you. I have no, I don't have an opinion. There's none of the facts to get it or not get it to me. Um, Canadian price, don't get it. <laughs> If you pay 50 bucks for this thing, Canadian price would be like, this is it? I can go buy the Desert Skiff and get more set than this. So, um, you know. Yeah. So, that's my review of the set. Uh, it's up to you guys, so go see it. If you want to get it, I guess, if that's what you're listening to this video for. Other than that, pretty cool set. And see you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out.